I believe in God. I believe in the Bible. I'm a Christian. I'm, I, you know, I have a lot of reasons. I love, I love people. And our country needs a savior right now, and our country has a savior. And that's not me. That's somebody much higher up than me. Much higher up. We just do what we have to do. But the life and death and resurrection of Jesus Christ forever changed the world. It's impossible to think of the life of our own country without the influence of his example and of his teachings. Our miraculous founding, overcoming civil war, and uh, the United States ultimately becoming a truly great nation. And we're going to keep it that way. We're going to keep it that way. We're not going to let it go. I'm not going to let it go. But none of this could have ever happened without Jesus Christ and his followers and his church. None of it. And we have to remember that Jesus Christ is the ultimate source of our strength and of our hope. Let us thank Almighty God for our nation, for our precious freedoms. And our most of all, and I have to say this for the gift of God's everlasting mercy and grace, we ask God to bless our nation and our people with faith and hope and love and peace. Put Trump in a bullseye. This was alleged of what Biden told donors in a private call. Hence, I say alleged. But even more so, I want you to look at the dating of this. This was posted five days ago. Look at the spot of the target. Now look at the bullet. You really think it's a game? Nah, it's not a game. Satan wants this man out. Satan doesn't want this man here. You gotta ask yourself, why are witches being inspired spiritually to go against Trump? Why did somebody be inspired spiritually to do this to Trump? Who do you think inspired these things? It's not God. God doesn't inspire witchcraft. God doesn't inspire things like this. Anytime you see witchcraft done, it's always a work of Satan. Biden allegedly spoke still crazy to me that picture was posted five days ago. And then this happens, where he was shot in the side of the head. Literally shot in the side of the head after this was allegedly said. And where's the target at? Do you really think that this is a game? There's really elites. And they don't want him here. Talking Boys believes enough is enough with the anti-Trump movement. Man won the election, give him a chance. And now you're gonna run for president. Don't you think that's a really cool idea, you guys? You'll keep him honest, you'll keep him honest, Donald. Personally, I hope you win, because I can't wait for the uh, assassination, I mean the inauguration. This will be the year the American people say enough is enough. This will finally be the year the American people say enough is enough. Enough is enough. He said there's going to be a new wave of patriotism coming out. And that's whenever I saw Trump and I saw the I saw a, a red wave coming out of um, Michigan. And then I saw Oklahoma and there was embers of people and they were all on um, these these they had torches all throughout Oklahoma and they were raising up these torches that looked like fire and they were bringing forth a new patriotism upon the nation and it was coming it was being birthed and it just kept spreading like fire all throughout America all throughout and I saw Trump rising up and then I saw an attempt on his life. Uh, that w the, this bullet flew by his ear and it came so close to his head that it busted his drum eardrum. And I saw um, he was he fell to his knees during this time frame and he started worshiping the Lord. He got radically born again during this time frame. I'm talking people say he's saved now, but he becomes really on fire for Jesus for what I saw coming. And um, then I saw people interceding when he, and I see him, I saw him winning the, the presidency uh, through great uh, 
the Lord showed me it would go clear into the, the summer. Great persecution would come on him through the judges and through the, um, through the law and all these people trying to sue him and all this stuff. But there would be a stop to it and their things would start to, to, to break free come toward the fall. And then I saw him winning uh, the election uh, through uh, the patriots coming out and voting. And then, and then, and then there will be a great economy crash. Yeah. I saw they had a great economy that. plan, a crash. Yeah. worse than the, uh, the uh, Great Depression. And the Lord warned me about this. It would be a great dark time. But I saw paddles coming upon America's soil like a shocking of the soil. And I saw Donald Trump praying in the office of the, of the Oval Office. And he was weeping before the Lord with his hands on his head like this, but he was weeping. And there was ministers and people. I don't know if they were senators or, or Congress people or whatever. They, I just saw them pacing and back and forth inside of the uh, the um, the White House uh, and sorry the the uh, what is the White House but it's the Oval Office yeah. and they were interceding all inside there and I could feel the presence of the Lord so strong on this and then I could see that darkness that was the heaviness upon America with the with the um, the uh, the financial crisis of what I saw coming it started to lift above the trees and I saw the blue and the and the things coming back out and the green times and the good times coming back again but the Lord said it would be forth a, a time of a season of um, a shaking and it would be a shakening to awaken and and in this there it, this would uh, uh, basically that he was not done with America there would be a great revival come and there's it's it's not all doom and gloom. That's Shooter was in a BlackRock commercial. Yeah, I bet they're not showing you this. This commercial was filmed about two years ago at a high school called Bethel Park where he attended, and he appears at about the 19 second mark. There he is, Thomas Matthew Crooks. I mean, what are the chances? Once you realize how powerful BlackRock is and what type of ownership they have in major companies, it's hard to believe that. This is all just a coincidence. So learned a couple other things. There's a lot of footage of him saying filthy things about Republicans and Trump. Also that he made a donation on Biden's- The shooter was there for nearly three minutes before he fired at President Trump. This isn't some wild claim. I'm about to show you video evidence. This video was taken with a civilian cell phone. It shows that everybody saw the dude on that roof. Not only did the people in the crowd see it and called it out, but so did the police, which means the Secret Service knew. Check out this video. If you were doing this job, I wouldn't even be doing this job. I get some beautiful police support for the military. Look, they're all pointing. The Atlantic, maybe the Pacific. Yeah. yeah, someone's on top of the roof. Look. There he is right there. Yeah. Right there. See him? He's laying down. See him? Yeah, he's laying down. And still have here with these fighting cartels to get a sense of... What's happening? Yeah, look, there he is. Because we have millions and millions of people in our country that should be here. Dangerous people. Criminals. We have criminals. We have criminals. We have people that should That is unacceptable. Not only did they call out that he was up there, they called to the police. They pointed out that he was right there police or the Secret Service could have done something. At the very least, they could have warned the president. There was somebody on a roof adjacent to him trying to hide. But no, they just left him up there for minutes. Nobody took any action. See something the guy that said, take a look at what happened. You see something that said, take a look what happened. Said... Take a look what happened. Take. A new angle shows that the shot was perfect. Had President Donald Trump not tilted his head to the exact extent that he did, it would have been a bullseye right on target. And to point out how truly miraculous this was, 
President Donald Trump had to turn his head at the exact moment that the shooter pulled the trigger. Otherwise, the shooter would have readjusted, realigned, and then pulled the trigger. Friends, this was a absolute miracle. And friends, this proves not only that God is alive, that Jesus is on the throne, but that he is watching over the United States of America, that he loves the United States of America, and that he loves this man, Donald J. Trump, because all the plotting and scheming and plans of the enemy to take him out stopped just like that. And the blood on the ear, the right ear, yeah, in the Bible, that's a sign of consecration. That's a sign of consecration for the priests to have the ear of God, to hear, be able to hear God clearly and then obey. Friends, I believe Donald Trump, like never before, is going to begin to hear clearly the voice of God and listen to what he's asking him to do because President Trump is going to lead this country out of the absolute devastation pitfall of communism, socialism, and globalism that the elites were trying to take him out for.